Okay, um, so I'm starting a series of videos trying to explain some of the lead code uh, coding questions. Um, yeah, we'll start with easy ones and uh, um, see how long I can go. Maybe uh, we will gradually crank up uh, difficulties. Um, and maybe even in the future I could extend to system designs or machine learning series or practices also maybe some introduction to software packages stuff like that uh, but but anyhow we start with really easy one easy coding questions simple coding questions uh, the one that I, we have today is the 349 intersection of two arrays so the question rates given two arrays uh, Write a function to compute their intersection. So the example here, one two two one. The second array is two two. The elements that's shared between these two arrays are two and two. So it's actually two twos, but the output is just one of the two, meaning that we, uh, it's it's doing some kind of um, uh, duplication removals. So we have to, uh, the the output is the only the unique elements of the uh, inter intersection part. Uh, in the note it says each element in the result must be unique so we are doing set intersection okay the second uh, note says the result can be in any order so we don't have to sort uh, the result um, so if I were to solve it manually I would just uh, go pick one element at a time from one of the arrays and to check whether that element is in the second one or not if it's in there, meaning that it's uh, shared between these two, I'll put it into the output array, and I just repeat that um, uh, for how for however many uh, element I have from that um, array that uh, I'm grabbing elements from. Um, after I've done this process, I would just uh, drop the duplicate from the output array and return that as a result. So um, that's quite easy to code it up. Um, the problem with that is the membership, in, uh, membership checking is kind of uh, expensive because we have to linearly scanning through uh, the second array um, for, for every membership checking that we need to do. So um, if we can afford some extra space, we will convert uh, this nums2 uh, array into a set so that the membership checking become constant time. And uh, after that, uh, the time space, uh, the time complexity, will reduce from the two, the length of these two multiplied together, uh, reduce from that to uh, addition of these two uh, lengths. And the space is just the, the uh, however many unique elements we have from the one of the arrays. Uh, so. Yeah, so that's just reduce the time from polynomial to linear. The space is uh, still lin linear. Um, so let's code it up. Okay. Move myself to the other side so that um, I don't block the code. But uh, this question is so easy that it um, uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, Numbers two. Uh, yeah. So just return the set of numbers that uh, uh, just uh, picking numbers one at a time from the first array um, and do this membership checking. And as if as as it's asking us a list, I just convert that back to a list. So this will do. Okay, yeah. So um, let let's see if we comment this line out. We are basically doing the brute force solution. The good thing about this is uh, we don't use any extra space except for this output. Um, but I doubt uh, it will be any difference because a. I guess this inputs are just so tiny that um, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so that's the question for tomorrow. I hope to. Uh, we might still stuck with the easy ones for a bit longer.
but we will gradually work up the difficulties.